Okay, everybody, welcome. I am back showcasing this Turtles machine again because I have successfully acquired the sequel board known as Turtles in Time. So I went ahead and put a Mike's Double Jam, a two-in-one switcher inside the machine and added Turtles in Time. So now I have the first Turtles game and the second Turtles game in one cabinet. And the second Turtles game is a lot more rare and demands a lot more money as far as price. Uh, you can go on eBay and look and you can see the ones that are on there now are upwards of $500 just for a PCB. I didn't pay that much because I got a friend on the KLOV forums that was kind enough to sell me his spare. Um, but I did pay a hefty price for it, but not anywhere near $500. So that's just insane. But anyway, so I was able to get one and I put it in here. I'll post some pictures at the end of the video of how it's all set up so you can see uh, what it looks like inside the cabinet. Um, and I did want to mention also this multi marquee I had made up. You can see it's just a, a regular marquee size, but what it is, it's a custom artwork. It's not like I have before or what I've done in the past where I just take the two different games and squish them together and print the marquee out. This is actually some custom artwork that uh, one of the fellow forum users over at KLOV was kind enough to make up for me. And it's also available for anybody else that has a similar setup. Uh, but you can see there, this showcasing, it's talking about the first Turtles game and then the second Turtles game. Uh, well, just showing them together. So anyway, so what it is, is a, again, there's Turtles 1. And I put a switch down here. You can see it right there. On the bottom of the panel, out of the way, you just press that button, and it'll change between the first Turtles game here, as you can see, and then there's the second one. So that changes between the two, and all the inputs and everything work just fine. Um, but the only real issue is on the Turtles in Time PCB, the inputs are swapped. Um, when you're playing the first Turtles game and you press the jump button, of course, the character jumps. But if you have the Turtles in Time selected and you press jump, it actually does the attack. So I had to take the two wires, the, the, the input wires for uh, jump and attack for player 1, 2, 3, and 4, where they hook into the, the PCB, I had to cut them and swap them. So now, of course, jump is jump and attack is attack for both games, but before it was swapped for Turtles in Time. I don't know why they did that, but, <clears throat> pardon me, for uh, Turtles in Time, for some reason, somebody thought it would be a good idea to change the wires around, so uh, I'm not sure why they, why they did that. But anyway, so you can see there's Turtles in Time, and I'll switch it back again to the first Turtles, so it works out pretty good. Um, and, I, of course, like I mentioned, all the inputs work for all the four players. And um, One thing, though, it, it coins up individually, so if I press, you know... Let it show! Let's get shell! When I switch over to the first game, it's still running in a track mode. Uh, but it doesn't work the same way for player three and four because those don't run through the JAMA harness. So because player three and player four coin buttons um, are on a separate harness, they don't run through the JAMA harness, so I can't they're not being blocked by the diodes on the on the switcher. So like for instance if I press Three and four here. Let it show! Let it show! I'll do it, uh, well. If I just press it one time, this is set up differently. You can see there I have two lives. On the first Turtles game, I have to press the coin up button twice. And it gives me five lives. So I'll show you, I'll press it again here. Let it show! Let it show! Now when I switch over to the first Turtles game, Donatello and Raphael should be coined up. There they are, see? So the only problem with this is that if you play as player three or player four, when you switch over to the other game, it's going to be in the middle of running the game. Because here, I'll show you. Okay, so if I just start the game here. This is April the morning. See, now there's Turtles in Time. I'll switch it over, and the other game will be running also. See? So, I want to figure out a way to uh, block the inputs. I'm thinking about putting a little tog a toggle switch or something by these switches so you can select, you know, up will be, up will only coin up the first TMNT and then flip the switch down and it'll only coin up the second one. So, I have yet to figure that out, but anyway, otherwise this whole thing is running great. So. That's about it, and stay tuned here at the end, you'll see some of the pictures of how everything is set up on the inside of the machine, so thanks for watching.